All right, the Google Keep Chrome extension is super easy to use. All it does is it actually just keeps little post-it notes essentially about whatever website you visit. So there's the extension. If you don't see it, it'll be in your puzzle piece. You can pin it so that way you can get to it quickly. And what it'll do is it'll be gray on any website that you haven't taken a note on, but when you click on it on a website, you'll see that it'll turn golden. And when you do that, that means that it is going to absorb the address to that website and you can start taking notes. So when I click on take a note, I'm able to add a title. And then I can also take a note about the website and I can scroll through this while I'm scrolling. It's right up there, ready to go, ready for me to access at any time. And I can take notes about the website. It's very handy. So even if I click on the Chrome extension and it goes away, you'll see that it will keep my note. Even if I refresh this page, let's say I leave it and I come back, you'll see that after I have refreshed, the save to keep Chrome extension is still there and it still has my note the whole time. This little guy right here is a label and labels allow you to mark websites essentially and allows you to organize them in the full blown version of Google Keep. So when I click on this, if I have a label, I can start typing it and you'll see that I have a label there. Now, if I did not have one called Google Keep, it would just say create and I could click on it and would have created it. So I already have a label called Google Keep. And so any notes that I take that I want to label with Google Keep will be right there. So that's a little bit about the Google Keep Chrome extension. Super simple, easy to use. It'll keep your notes as you're going. And then if you want to see the full blown version of the note, you would click on this icon here in your note. It'll take you to Google Keep so that way you can see the full version of that note and add any additional notes, drawings or other resources to it as you wish. As you can see, the link directly to the resource is right there. It would take me back to the website so that way I could continue taking notes on that website.